Hey yo, what is going on today guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video man, I want to be uh, talking with you guys uh, a little bit about the new Horizon 5, obviously map editor, map creator, whatever you guys want to talk about, a race creator um, that I think we may or may not have been teased uh, in the previous uh, trailers and obviously let's go stream that we just had we just talked about I'm pretty sure we've just been teased a little bit of information about that so let's go ahead now and dive straight into that sort of thing that I want to see stuff I want to see from the map editor and also what we've also seen already from uh, some of the stuff we may or may not be able to grab and use but anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you do be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button man and I shall catch you guys hopefully after the intro All right, man. So obviously, uh, from what we've seen so far, we've, uh, the, the only stuff that we've seen is obviously in the showcase event. Now, the stuff that we're seeing on the showcase event, it looks uh, fairly decent, man. All right, it looks fairly decent. I'm flying off the road. Um, having to turn down the damn headset. Uh, but yeah, now the stuff that we've seen already um, in the. Uh, it, <laughs> the showcase event it looks it looks very cool man it looks like it they've improved a hell of a lot on um obviously the, the way in which stuff snaps together and uh the ramps and stuff like that it looks very 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 decent now the, the one piece that i'm talking about in particular here when i'm talking about the the way in which everything snaps together i might be completely wrong um however it's this piece right here i'll put a picture up on the uh on the screen or the video rather um, of the piece that I'm talking about um, obviously uh, it's this piece where it looks like there is uh, a little piece on the bottom right as he goes onto this little ramp piece that obviously flies off and you see the guy on the um, on the on the bike he then goes into his wingsuit um, it's this little bit that obviously is a huge ramp going down it looks like that all that stuff is made in the creator um, so this looks really cool man. I like the way how we have a whole new sort of wooden sort of type of feel to the Korea stuff I could be completely wrong here guys just so you guys know. I don't know if this is factual um, However, like I say it does look like uh, we may or may not get some of these like items in the creator itself uh, Which would be really cool man. I'm quite excited to um, be able to jump straight into it and see what sort of stuff we can build Obviously you guys know um, here on the channel as we slam straight into a transit van um, Obviously you guys know here on the channel we like to build uh, the drift tracks and everything like that um, I'm super hyped to be able to drift some you know make some more tracks on uh, on horizon 5 and actually have some people on there to drift with um, on these tracks, man, I know some of the boys over at UCXT, especially Hardcore, is uh, quite excited for this and everything like that as well. Uh, that was one of the main things that we wanted to see come into the game uh, from, obviously, this creator option. We wanted to see some multiplayer so that we could be actually, you know, use some of these tracks in the multiplayer and uh, have a load of our friends join up with the tracks and, obviously, drift. Uh, in tandem with these tracks. I think it'll be really nice. It'll give the game a hell of a lot more content to um, Actually use and obviously we can we can make unlimited amount of tracks man any sort of ideas that we have We can use it bro. We can we can make it we can use it You know anything we come up with we can we can build it which will be awesome bro especially with all these brand new sort of um, uh, items that we're gonna hopefully be able to uh, use um, that would look really really nice on the on the maps and stuff like that, especially the wooden stuff I think the wooden stuff is gonna look really really cool uh, really excited for that 100% um, Especially you know like some of the crazy stuff that Joe's done as well Joe Wong song He's done some crazy stuff with it uh, Be awesome to see what he is able to create with it. Obviously, we haven't got to the uh, stream yet where uh, we're going to be able to look at all these different things in the Korea. Obviously, it's going to be in a later stream. But any of you guys that are watching this video right now and have, um, uh, are, you know, ha are able to jump into the Let's Go streams and catch them while they're live, man, I'd love to see if you guys can uh, maybe put in a comment, say, you know, oh, when are we going to be able to see the uh, map editor stuff um, on the on the one of the Let's Go streams? I'd love to see one of you guys obviously say that. 
Uh, that'd be awesome to see. But yeah, no, like I said, guys, you know, we have uh, a lot of potential here to, um, like, get our, vo our views in right now uh, with, obviously, some of the map creator stuff. And hopefully they can add in a few things uh, that we obviously suggest and everything like that. They've done really well with the, um, the Horizon 4 stuff. We've got the multiplayer thing as well uh, with the, um, obviously, the multiplayer with the with the creations and stuff like that they're actually going to put that in as we've seen from the very first e3 trailer um excited to, like i said man i'm very excited to see what when they put bring all that into a, a let's go stream like i said to see if we can push that let's go stream a little bit further forward with obviously asking all the questions and seeing if uh when they're actually going to put this um all this information forward that'd be really cool uh, but yeah, no, I'd love to, like I say, man, I'm liking to see the uh, ramps and stuff like that come into, come into play. And hopefully they bring in a nice flat piece, man. A nice big open flat piece. I'd love to see that. Uh, so that way we can just put one thing down and then not worry about uh, obviously wasting half of the credit just by putting down loads and loads of ramps just to make one flat sort of area. Uh, that would be really nice. I'd love to see one of those come into play because that would make uh, my life a little bit easier when making the uh, making the sections. Um, that would be quite nice to have. Obviously, the Jim Khan sections and everything like that you guys have probably seen on YouTube. Uh, they also could probably benefit with a huge sort of flat piece that we can put down. Uh, obviously, everyone's been trying to get out of the map uh, with the editor stuff and all that. You know, with all the ramps and you know all that. All that jazz but obviously um for making it for races and stuff like that they, that's probably the bread and butter that's going to be where it's at for especially for online as well we're probably going to be jumping straight into some gta sort of stuff with um obviously all the craziness that is going to be happening with um obviously the ramps and all the different type of roads i'm sure they'll probably add like a tunnel piece too uh which would be quite nice to see i think the tunnel piece would work pretty well um like I say, I, there's just a lot of stuff, man. There's a lot of stuff that they could potentially add in here. And it looks like that if if my predictions are correct and the showcase event that they had shown has uh, all of the stuff that we can use in the map editor, then, oh my God, it's going to be so cool. It's going to be insane, man. It, like the way of which that that uh, big sort of ramp piece uh, went down and then flicked back up again, was that was a big ass drop. Like that drop was huge. So it'll be very interesting to see what we what what sort of stuff we are going to get with it, whether that's going to be a one massive piece or if it's going to be multiple pieces that are able to snap together. Uh, like I said, man, we just have to wait and see what actually happens there with that. Um, nonetheless, man, uh, hopefully it'll be a really sick sort of map editor creator tool that we can use because obviously, you know, some games aren't actually putting them in. <coughs> Far Cry 6. But, um... You know, they're dropping the ball there, man, for real. They're dropping the ball. But that's, that, you know, uh, obviously Horizon 5 picking up the ball here and giving us uh, even better stuff, hopefully, uh, with uh, their map, map editor and stuff like that. Obviously, they're, I think they're, what they're trying to do is they're making it for the custom games, you know, for Infected and all that other sort of stuff. So, uh, obviously, us drifters will be able to use it. We'll definitely be able to use that sort of thing for our own sort of sections and stuff like that. So, hopefully... Uh, we'll have a game mode where we just have to go from one area to another. Uh, like sort of how the, um, the, the worked on here, that would be quite nice. Or if they actually sort of make a sort of free roam. Uh, just sort of a mess about area, a mess about game mode. I think that would be quite nice as well. If we had just a mess about game mode that lasts for, say, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour. Or you could change it so it's an hour, two hours, unlimited. Whatever the case may all be, I think that would be quite nice to have. Just a nice little sort of snippet of something extra. Um, I think that would be quite cool. So that way, we, if we do make a map, we can sort of mess around with it um, until we get bored. And then obviously we can then end the game. I think that would be quite nice. So that would also would then give us our private lobby sort of system that we are sort of wanting and uh, actually, you know, wanting to see. So that would be quite nice to have. Um, but yeah, no, that is pretty much it, man. I don't think there's anything else I really want to touch on there with the map editor. Obviously, when it comes out, when they actually so show us some stuff um, to do with the map editor, I think we'll uh, we'll have a little bit more to brush up on and talk about. But obviously, I just wanted to get my thoughts out here with obviously the showcase event and them showcasing what I think could be some uh, potential items that that they can they may or may not have in the map editor. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video, man. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, man. Obviously, I've been playing a little bit of Forza Horizon 4 in the background here. 
using the Nissan Pulsar GTIR. If you guys want to see this tune, man, be sure to go and check out the uh, Tobe tunes out here on the channel, man. Uh, you guys will be able to grab this tune uh, ready and waiting for you guys to uh, rip up some of the uh, some of the sections that we got out here with the Tobe. But anyway, like I said, man, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you did like it, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, man. Let's try and get ourselves all the way up to 15 likes, man. I love the way how we're trying to get up to this 15 likes, man. It's a definite goal that we need to try and hit. I'm going to try and sort of mention it a little bit more here on the channel uh, while I still can, bro. But yeah, no, like I said, let's try and get that 15 like goal. And also, we're just getting very close, man, to 800 subs, bro. So let's get it up to 800 subs, man. Let's go. I love it, man. Love getting the hype in, bro. It's getting really good. But yeah, like I said, man, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully we shall get some decent stuff for the Mabba Edda. And I shall catch you guys, hopefully, in the damn next one, man. Take care. Peace.